Hi, it's May 11th, and yesterday was Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to your moms, and grandmas, and aunts, and you know what I mean. Last week we read this story, Big Al, and I don't have a mystery. I just have another book that's kind of like it. It's Big Al and Shrimpy. It's the sequel I had to. It also is one of my favorites. This is another story about friends, more friends, and everyone needs more friends. Big Alan Shrimpy, same author, Andrew Clements, same illustrator, Yoshi. It begins like this. In the wide blue sea, there was a very clever fish named Shrimpy. You could not find a smarter fish. But Shrimpy was also very very small. Wow. Shrimpy wanted to be like Big Al, but no one wanted to be friends with a teeny tiny fish like him. So Shrimpy was lonely, and he cried little salty tears into the big salty sea. Sounds like the last book, kind of. One day, all the fish said, let's play tag. Big Al said, me too. And Shrimpy said, yeah, me too. But when the game started, Big Al was it. Big Al was fast, but he couldn't zigzag. He couldn't tag anyone except for Shrimpy. And then Shrimpy was it. And Shrimpy was so small that he was too slow. He couldn't catch anyone. But Shrimpy was smart, and he waited in just the right place, and he tagged Big Al. And all the other fish said, no fair, Shrimpy and Big Al are just tagging each other. So Big Al and Shrimpy had to leave the game. And that's when Big Al and Shrimpy became best friends. You never know. For Shrimpy, it was great to have a big, strong friend. Shrimpy could fly through the water faster than ever before. And Shrimpy always had plenty to eat when Big Al was around. And Shrimpy went new places with Big Al. And one day, Shrimpy and Big Al went to the edge of the big deep. Shrimpy had never seen the big deep before. The big deep was too scary. But not now. With Big Al next to him, Shrimpy felt just fine. And they went right up to the edge and looked over. It was dark in there. The big deep went down and down and down. Must be the really deep part of the ocean. Shrimpy said, could you push a rock down there? And Big Al puffed himself up and said, sure I could, just watch. And Big Al pushed a round green rock. And he flipped his tail and he flapped his wing fins. And the rock moved a little, and then it went over the edge. And Big Al and Shrimpy just listened. And the rock tumbled down and down and down. And then all was quiet again, and Shrimpy said, Wow, that was great. And Big Al smiled and puffed himself way up. He said, Watch this. I'll push another one, even bigger. Uh-oh, but Big Al pushed on a really large white rock and he flipped his tail and he flapped his fins and the rock moved a little and Big Al pushed harder and then over the edge it went. But Big Al said, oh, oh no, help. And his fin was stuck in a crack on the rock and the rock went tumbling down into the big deep and Big Al went with it. Shrimpy was scared and he swam back to get all the other fish. Come quick. We have to help Big Al, he said. All the fish came to the edge of the big deep, and one fish said, Oh, oh, we can't go down there. It's too deep and dark. And everyone was ready to give up. And he said, But not Shrimpy. He said, We have to get Big Al. And I know how. And he had an idea. Halfway down, in the big deep, it was almost dark. But Al saw a fish, and all at once he didn't feel so big. 
He wanted to swim home to his friends, but he couldn't. His fin was kind of stuck still, and the white rock was caught on a big shell, and if he pulled too hard, the shell might come loose. So Big Al was getting scared. He didn't want to go down deeper, and, whoa, what if that giant fish got hungry? Suddenly, just above him, Big Al saw a light, and the giant fish saw it too, and he swam away fast. I wonder what was coming. The light came closer and closer. It was a lantern fish and Shrimpy. Shrimpy looked at the rock, and he looked at the shell, and he looked at Big Al's fin. Hmm. And then Shrimpy gave some orders. And ten little fish held the shell, and ten little fish held the white rock. And then Shrimpy and ten other little fish pulled on Big Al's fin, and pop, it came loose, and just in time. The white rock wobbled, and then it tumbled down to the deepest part of the big deep. And then Shrimpy told everyone to turn around. And here's how the author puts the words like that on the page. The chain of fish swam up and up and up, and Big Al followed Shrimpy, headed for home. They had to follow in a chain so they could find their way. Oh my goodness, there was a party that night. Everyone was happy that Big Al was safe, but the guest of honor was Shrimpy the little fish with the big ideas. And you've probably got some great ideas. What is this story? What is the lesson of this story? Well, it's a little bit similar to the Big Al story, right? Friends come in all sizes. That's what someone told me. And that is absolutely true. And another friend said, this book is like the lion and the mouse. You're never too small to help. And that is true. But do you know how they, were, they had 10 fish together and then 10 more fish? Someone said, if you all work together, even if you're small, you can make a big thing happen. And that is so true. So what I want you to do is think about how even if you're small, you can help this week. Or big things come in little packages. Someone told me that. They told me, Mrs. Shepman, the best presents are the smallest boxes. And I don't know if that's true, but sometimes it's true, right? Have a great week. Meet some new friends. And don't judge the book by its cover. Unless you want to read this book. And then you can be sure it's a good one.